Welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain and show how to use Leica BDC turret. You can see this turret here on this Leica Magnus scope, but you can find this turret also on other scopes currently in production by Leica. The turret offers you better opportunities or easier handling when you decide to shoot on longer distances or long range. This is generally a hunting scope, not meant for shooting competitions, but with, equipped with such an BDC ballistic turret, you can still shoot far with uh, enough accuracy for hunting purposes. Um, this is the second generation of this turret. Formerly it was called Leica ASV turret, but from uh, 2014 onwards all the catalogs and Leica documents, they all refer to this turret as Leica BDC turret. Um, the main feature of this turret is that it has a 95 clicks in one revolution. This is really a lot, since most of the turrets of this type only offer around 50 clicks, these are one centimeter per hundred meters clicks, that means that you can reach further with this kind of turret. With normal hunting cartridges you can shoot out to almost 800 meters or even more with some which are ballistically more advanced. The second feature which is really nice on this turret is that you have a locking mechanism, so when the turret is locked you cannot move it if you don't wish. This is especially important if you are hunting in thick bush or uh, while you are transporting your rifle and so on, so that you are always sure uh, that the turret position is locked. When it's unlocked, you can normally apply as many clicks as you wish. This turret is also a very good um, choice if you are already using some of the Leica range finding devices like range finding binoculars, the Geovids, or classic pocket range finders. And uh, this really enhances your accuracy on long range while you're hunting. Um, as you can see here, the default configuration of this turret is that it comes with an marked centimeter clicks. But the idea is that you can change this inner ring with these markings so that you don't have uh, engraved clicks anymore but you have engraved, engraved numbers uh, for distances. That means that first of all you have to zero this turret. That means that uh, when you zero the turret, let's say that you have a zero here, you have to unscrew the top with these screws. Okay. One screw on one side and then another one on the other side. So once you have zero, zero to the rifle scope, to your rifle, when you unscrew these two screws, then the turret gets loose. You can see that it moves without clicks. So you can reset it back to zero or you can remove the turret completely and replace this ring with a ring which is suitable for your rifle and your caliber. This direct dial rings are sold separately and there is 12 different rings for this purpose. These uh, rings you have to use the Leica ballistic calculator or ballistic software which is found on their web page and when you input all the data of your rifle, of your cartridge and so on and you have zeroed your rifle scope then this software will give you the number of this direct dial ring which is suitable for your rifle. This one is Euro 4. 
you place this ring on the on the turret and when you place the turret back on the rifleoscope then you don't have engraved markings for clicks but for distances now if we tighten both screws back Now you can see, now you have a ring which has engraved values for 10 for 100 meters, 20 for 200 meters, 30 for 300 meters, 35 for 350 meters, 40 for 400 meters, and so on, all the way to 500 meters, 500 meters. This depends on your caliber, on your rifle, and so on. So you have to use the ballistic software to get the right data to choose the appropriate ring this direct dial ring for your uh, ballistic turret Leica BDC the other feature which is also really important is that when you zero the rifle you have to make sure that the turret is in the right position so that it stops where it's zero by tactical scopes this is called zero stop here it's uh, just a normal feature so when you are replacing your direct dial ring you have to make sure that when the rifle is zeroed that the turret sits on this zero stop it's really easy but I think it's important to mention you just have to rotate counterclockwise the turret until it stops then you have to tighten back the screws and you're ready to go on a hunt and to shoot on a really long range with great accuracy. So, this was a short video review about a Leica BDC turret. If you have any questions regarding this system, regarding the direct dial rings, there are 12 different direct dial rings, so it will fit to almost any kind of rifle and ammunition. Uh, if you have any questions, please send us an email or click the link below and visit our webpage. There you can find more information about Leica BDC turret. Thank you for watching.